Hey guys, what's up? My name is Cameron Penner and welcome back to a great new video. I got a comment recently on my channel by Nico Destroyer. He says, hey Cameron, I'm making a top-down zombie shooter and I'm looking for a realistic rain. Can you upload a tutorial? That's a great idea. I'll see what I can do. Um, so here we go. I'm going to make the tutorial. Uh, I was working through some of the math for this one and it turns out it's actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. I tried doing it with particles but I couldn't figure out how to do it like that in a way that looked good so uh, we're gonna use objects for each of the bits of rain um, and so let's get started let's first create our object rain we are also going to need an a uh, rain generator so we'll call that rain generate generator generator um, we will also want a little splish splash for when the rain hits the ground and let's also just create a guy so that we can move around in the room and I do have a couple of sprites already made as you can see I put a lot of time into preparing for this one so um, first things first let's get this guy moving around we'll just go into the step event and um, make some code this is I'm just gonna do this really quick and by the way guys I have a second monitor now so recording tutorials is going to be way easier for me because I can have um, I can have my information on the other side of the screen uh, rather than holding up papers for myself so super convenient um, uh, we'll say move uh, so what we want to do here is say if uh, keyboard check and then you just say VK left uh, then we're going to want to say X minus equals something like 8 or whatever whatever speed you want him to be going is then we can go ahead and copy this and paste it four times uh, rather than left here we're gonna say right and then we're going to make this positive instead here rather than left we're gonna say up and we're gonna make this Y and this is also gonna be Y here and this is gonna be VK down and then we want this to be positive uh, so what that's gonna do is pretty much get our guy moving around let's go into our room here and I've gone ahead and already set the background to this little image here now go to your views and say enable the use of views go ahead and click visible when room starts then choose whatever size view you want it to be it usually looks better if uh, these numbers are matching here and then we're gonna go to follow the object guy and I like to make this H border half of whatever this is and my V border half of whatever this is and what that's gonna do is just um, center our view on wherever our guy is so we can go ahead and run this now and by the way you can all get GameMaker Studio for free now. It'll just give you a little splash screen. And obviously our game is not going to work because we have no guy in there. But um, I definitely recommend going ahead and getting GameMaker Studio, at least for playing around with. If you have bought GameMaker 8, um, then if you still want to make games um, that don't have a splash screen, go ahead and use that. But till then, we got our guy moving. So let's go ahead and start getting to the good stuff. Let's go to our rain generator. What we want to do in here is create a good old fashioned step event and then let's make some code generate rain and so what we're going to do here is we're going to create an, a variable called edge and what this is going to be is how far from the edge outside of the view say, um, say this little window is the view is how far outside of the view we want to create our rain because if we just create it inside the view then when we move to the side uh, there's not going to be rain where we're walking yet and so we would just want to create that already in advance so go ahead and, and say 200 is a good value for that and then and now we're going to actually create the rain and so we will say repeat and then something like 40 I found looked good for me 
uh, and 40 is the number of drops it's going to create every step. So multiply that by 30 and then that'll be how many rains um, you'll see every second uh, because there's 30 steps in a second, right? So now what we want to do is instance create and now we're going to create our object, our rain object. So we're going to say view underscore x view minus edge plus random view underscore width view plus edge times two. Um, and then we are going to say, go ahead and slap in a comma there and we'll just create a new line just so it's a little cleaner. Uh, view underscore y view minus edge plus view underscore h oh wait random we want a random in here so plus random view underscore h view plus edge times two uh, and then we want to see what object it is and that is object rain and so that may seem a little messy and we can go ahead and clean up uh, put some spaces in here just to to clean up how it looks but uh, other than that um, it should all work good so you can go ahead and copy that down and uh, what this is going to do is it's going to create a raindrop somewhere randomly uh, near the view so rather than creating them across the whole room which would be really inefficient you would have really sparse rain then it'll just create it randomly like that so now um, it's going to be creating the rain things but the rain doesn't do anything so let's go ahead and add some funness to the rain so we're going to do a create event and this is just going to initialize a couple variables we're going to say height equals 40 that's the only variable <laughs> set height um, and th this green stuff isn't uh, it's not required but this stuff is so now we want to add a step event and in this we're going to create some more code and it's going to what this is going to do is it's going to move our rain downwards so every step we want to say height minus equals one and then we want to say if height is less than or equal to zero then we want to whoops then we want to instance destroy and that will destroy itself you don't want a star there just the, the brackets there and then you want to say instance create x y uh, object splash and so now when our rain hits the ground it's going to destroy itself and create a little splash thing and so that's good there and now we want to draw the rain this is the hard part um, so we're gonna execute some code and this is what it's gonna look like draw set color now, I like uh, how C gray looks but you can go ahead and experiment that make it blue if you're going for more of a cartoony style but I find uh, C gray looks a little bit more realistic uh, then we want to say draw set alpha uh, alpha there we go and then I found 0.6 was a good value there you can change that one up also uh, now we want to initialize a couple variables we want to say length and we also want to say um, car uh, we want to say vector x and vector y and you can do these all on the same line but I'm just splitting them up um, and what this is going to be is how long the droplet is and this is going to be the position of its height because um, because in our game the droplets gonna kinda start in the middle but if it's higher up it's gonna kinda look like it's further on the outside and so this is just going to be our special math variable. Uh, so let's go ahead and calculate those. Vector x equals 
okay. X minus view underscore X view plus view underscore width view divided by two and go ahead and close close both of those brackets and then divided by open a bracket again view underscore width view divided by two now that seems a little crazy but uh, it's gonna work great and then for vector y um, we're going to say open a bracket and then y minus view underscore y view plus view underscore h view divided by two and then close both of those brackets divided by view underscore h view divided by two and did I miss something yes we want to open that so this is uh, this is our vector and now we want to um, we need to set our length so we'll just go like this and we'll say two uh, I found two looked good um, so now we're going to actually draw the rain so we'll say draw line and then we can do draw line width because then we can make the rain a little bit thicker and then some more math x plus vector x times square root or not not square root just square of height and then we're going to do some similar stuff we're going to do that a couple times except now we're going to do with the y variable so y plus vector y times square of height um, so we can just put a new line here now um, this should be a comma not a period um, and new lines don't do anything they just um, you you can do new lines whenever you want you know but uh, we're just doing it just to keep the code a little more organized next we're gonna say well not organized but on the same line on in the same uh, view here so we don't have to drag this really wide x plus vector x times the square of height plus length and then close that off and then y plus vector y times the square of height plus length whoops spelled that wrong okay and then comma and then width of our line is going to be two now that may seem a little crazy and I'll tell you what it is alpha uh, we want to set it back to one so here here we're just going to reset the alpha back so that it doesn't mess up the rest of our drawing uh, in our game and then we've got it so close to done now we want our object splash we're just going to choose our little animation here and I can just show you what it looks like it's just a bloop 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 it's nothing special uh, and then what you want to do in here is uh, add a uh, for the event animation end and then you just want to say instance destroy and then what you can also do is in the create event you can say image image speed equals 0.5 and that'll just slow down the animation uh, so it looks cool so now if we go into our room play and we go ahead and put a rain generator in there let's see if this works <laughs> then we're gonna have our game and there's gonna be rain coming from the top and uh, what's super cool about it is you can move around in the room and the rain looks 3d and that is super cool so that brings us to the end of the tutorial thank you guys very much for watching if uh, if it worked for you that's sweet if it didn't work for you 
Um, before you go ahead and post in the comments, see if anyone else has also posted in the comments and asked for the question because chances are I've answered it already. Um, one last special tidbit. We are in a comparatively big loop in new wind proc. I've no idea what that means, but uh, in our splash, in the create event, another thing you can do is image angle equals random 360. And what that's going to do is just randomly rotate our rain. It's just for fun. But thank you very much for watching. My name is Cameron Penner, and I will see you guys next time.